Welcome to e and at Jitech's Leading Digital Transformation, the Forbes Middle East podcast, where we explore the leaders and innovators shaping the region's digital future. Today, we are joined by Marlon Bunshakar, Chief Technology and Information Officer at e and UAE, a pioneer in shaping the next era of intelligent connectivity. Under his leadership, e and UAE continues to push the boundaries of innovation from launching the region's first 5.5G network to accelerating AI-driven transformation across industries and public services. The company's bold vision for the future of telecom and technology reflects not just an evolution in infrastructure, but a revolution in how people, businesses, and societies connect and thrive in the digital age. In this episode, we'll explore how 5.5G is redefining customer experiences, how it will supercharge the UAE's AI and digital transformation, and the role of collaboration, innovation, and intelligence in powering the nation's connected future. Great to chat with you today, Marwan. Thank you, Ramya. Nice to meet you. EAND has achieved a really historic milestone with the launch of the region's first 5.5G network. What makes this launch a true game changer for the UAE and, and the wire industry? And how will 5.5 redefine the customer experience? This is a very proud moment for us and for the UAE. The launch of the 5.5G is not only an upgrade of the 5G. It is a real step forward how we design and, and experience the connectivity. From a technology point of view, it's more about speed, latency, and more capacity. Of course, this is happening by using higher bandwidth aggregation and more spectrum use, supported by the AI capability and, and self-optimized network. But from customer point of view, customer will feel, will feel faster connectivity, more capacity, as well as almost zero latency for that one. But 5.5G is not only about speed, it's, it's more about intelligence and integration as well. So the capability of a network will move more toward AI native and cloud native as well, where the network can, can learn, predict, and adapt seamlessly as well, which is really required for the for the use case or capability like autonomous network we could see here in Jitex. This all needs capability of 5.5G in order to have this capability. And how will 5.5G accelerate the UAE's AI and digital transformation journey, especially across industries and, and public services? That's a great question. The 5.5G is apt as a bridge between connectivity and intelligence to a physical layer to really AI capability of the network. So today the industry itself can be enabled with a more capacity. We are demonstrating here in Jitex the 5G private capability of the 5G, which of course will give a dedication, more capacity for the industry. Recently we launched as well the 5G slicing, one of the capability of the 5G advanced and 5.5G, which will give more dedicated capacity for the sectors like industry, uh, smart factory, all of this, they will have their own dedicated capacity in order to operate their services in very robust and seamless connectivity capability. And Jitex has always been a platform for e and to really showcase its cutting edge technologies and its innovation. Tell us about this year's major demonstrations and how they reflect your vision for future connectivity. We want to go beyond what you are showcasing today what I give a glimpse of what is coming in the near future. In collaboration with the New York University, we are demonstrating the first 6G capability and 6 terahertz, which give us speed of 145 gigabit per second, which is never achieved earlier. Last year we achieved 63, and this year we are achieving 145 on 6G capability. What's that mean? It means that the 6G we are building the foundation in collaboration with academia on the on the 6G capability. Also, the 6G, as we know, it will come early 2030, but we are building the foundation, not only to adopt the new technology, but also to participate building the foundation and standardization 
in collaboration with Academy of 60. And yes, we have seen that innovation in telecom increasingly depends on strong collaboration between industry and academia. How is E and UAE really contributing to this collaboration and helping to shape the UAE's wider innovation ecosystem? It's a very passion moment that we are collaborating closely with academia. Today we sign an MOU with Khalifa University and Zaid University. Both they came to us in order to participate actively in building a 6G uh, hub capability of the UAE nation of the UAE. It will bring the academia, startup, big partner as well as our infrastructure in order to make sure that we are participating in the standardization of the 6G, bringing the technology close to us and put our finger as well of what's needed in the 6G supporting the customer, which 6G will come with more homographic capability, sensing for the customer, which is more capability than what we are having today. Congratulations on those new initiatives. E and has been leading one of the most ambitious AI transformations in the region, integrating intelligence across networks, cloud, and customer experience. Tell us about this journey and, and the main use cases. Let me share with you the journey of AI in e and which really position us as one of the leaders adopting the AI capability in the region. If we will talk about our strategy, it's going to from the four main pillars which means focusing on the customer experience, decision-making, autonomous capability of the network and, and processes, as well as external monetization. How this will be a community enabler to achieve that? Proudly today, we are having our, uh, our own sovereign AI capability of uh, Oracle DRCC, which we built it last year where we are experimenting and putting all the AI capability in that one. As well as, we built our own uh, AI, Agentic AI Orchestrator on the sovereign AI capability in order to experiment and build and we order to take to different LLM uh, providers. Also, we are building Citizen X, where we are training and sandbox, training a lot of, of citizen and employee to experiment in the AI capability. Based on that, proudly announcing last week, we went to the market with the first customer interface agentic AI capability, which is the billing agent, where the agentic AI can predict the bill spike for the customer, proactively approaching those customers, have positive interaction of their bill as well, and to have a full capability of interaction and answering their capability. This is resulted in high customer satisfaction, as well as reduction in the customer calling our contact center beginning of the month asking about their bill. Great to chat with you today, Marwan. Thanks very much. Thank you.